President Obama and his second term is likely early on to focus on a grand deal with Iran, testing the Iranians to see if there is a political settlement before he needs, probably by the end of the second quarter of 2013, to decide on other means, perhaps military means, to prevent the Iranians from achieving the nuclear weapons capability. I believe a, a President Obama in his second term will be more assertive, perhaps from the first day after the election, not waiting for inauguration, to, um, to increase the, the lethality and the amount of weaponry going to the opposition in Syria, complementing the new political umbrella that the United States is trying to put together. I believe a second uh, President Obama term um, uh, will try to reach a new understanding with the, um, the new Islamist leaders in Egypt. So far, it's been a patchwork um, playing catch up to the political change there. But we need a new bargain, a new understanding uh, of, their, of what they will do and what we will do um, in this relationship. I believe a second Obama term is unlikely to follow the pattern of the first and have a missionary approach to Arab-Israeli peacemaking, but a much more opportunistic approach. Uh, a second President Obama term will lower, um, uh, lower his sights, lower his horizons um, toward resolving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, but I do believe he will do what is necessary with Israelis and Palestinians to ensure that the Palestinian Authority does not collapse, which would open up a Pandora's box of difficulties for America, for Israel, for our partners throughout the region. A second term president is, of course, a, a free agent, unlike any other political actor in America. Um, it's less important, though, I think, for the Obama second term than uh, previous second terms because the top of an Obama administration in the, in the opening months of a second term will be domestic. Um, it'll be fixing the economy, getting a budget deal, et cetera.